you guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep your smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but y'all already know if it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to go to Nugget today is Afraid of Heights. Listen, how is it that you are afraid of heights? There's no way you're supposed to be afraid of heights when you are depending and standing firm on God's word. If you are afraid of heights, then you are like oil and water. You are. It's not mixing. Why? Because God has not called you to be grounded. How do I know that? Because God says in Deuteronomy 28, he says, well, I will set thee on high above all nations. That's what he said. And then he said this, you shall be above only and not beneath. And then he said this, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with what? With wings like a wet eagle. Now why in the world would God be giving you wings if you're afraid of heights? You know what? A lot of times, we will ground ourselves. Either we'll do it to ourselves or we will be around people who have decided that they will stay grounded for the rest of their lives. And when you start talking about that you're gonna take flight, you know what they'll do? They'll clip your wings. You know what happens to a bird when they clip their wings, when their wings are clipped, you don't know. Let me tell y'all this. We had a bird named Precious, my Aunt Nona. Hey, Auntie Nona. My Aunt Nona actually gave my mom a bird, right? And we were shocked because we only have had a dog, okay? And to actually have a pet on the inside of the house, we were like, is mama okay? Because we don't do pets inside the house, right? So we got Precious the bird. My aunt Nona told her, hey, listen, if you don't want her flying all around your house, you're going to have to clip her wings. And I don't think my mom had clipped Precious's wings as of yet. And so when my mom opened that cage, either to give Precious some water or to clean the cage out, y'all, Precious took out soaring all around the house. There we were ducking. Like, oh, there she come. Oh, y'all, mama, get her. There she is. There she is. My sister ducking. We going, oh, we said, you catch her. Oh, you catch her. You catch her. We were all afraid because Precious was just like soaring all around the house. And so finally, my mom got Precious. She caught her. And when she caught her, she went to clip, clip, clip. She clipped her wings. And after she got finished clipping her wings, she released her. And then the only thing she could do was just hop. She, even if she tried to get away fast, she couldn't. She just couldn't. She just couldn't take flight. Why? Because my mom had clipped her wings. And that's what certain people do to us. And that's what we do to ourselves. When we go against God's word, when we don't stand firm on God's word, we will become afraid of heights. Therefore, we're clipping our wings to where we can't soar and go where God has called us to go, be what God has called us to be, do what God has called us to do, have what God has called us to have. Why? Because we have decided to stay grounded. And a lot of times, we'll have our wings and we'll decide to stay grounded. We can see how great we are. People are saying, oh, you're so awesome. Oh, you have such a gift. Oh, you have so, so much talent. And you'll still stay grounded. You won't, you won't take off in the runway. You won't. You won't. But instead, you'll choose to take your airplane and put it on the highway with other cars, causing all types of disruptions, distractions, and accidents accidents and look at other people in their cars like they the problem. And they said, why are you down here with us? You were not meant to be grounded. You have wings. Go fly. That's what God wants you to do. He wants you to soar. He wants you to fly. He don't want you to be afraid of heights. In other words, he don't want you to be afraid of the position that he's putting you in. This new level he's taking you to, he wants you to be confident in it. He wants you to have some confidence in it. He wants you to use his countenance. He wants you to be bold because he don't make mistakes. He gave you wings for a reason, which means where well, he knows you got to go over here to reach certain people. He knows you have to go over there to reach certain people. He knows. And if that wasn't the case, he would not have said that we should be above only and not beneath. He wouldn't have said that he would set us on high above all nations. He would not have said we would mount over wings as eagles. Every time God talks about us, he, he always talking about raising us up. Just like we say, I will pull down one to raise up another. It's always the direction of what? Of height, of increase, of more, of growth, of surplus, which is height. So when you are afraid of heights, you're out of order. You're out of order. I'm not talking about you saying, no, I don't want to fly on an airplane because I don't trust airplanes. 
That's one thing. I'm talking about when God gives you a position, when he opens a door for you. And because those people look like they got higher degrees than you, they look like they're from Yale and from Harvard. You go, oh, no, I'm not. Mm -mm, that ain't my cup of tea. So you decide to stay grounded. I'm talking about that. God said, just because you sound different, just because you got a GED, just because you ain't got no degrees, just because you don't have a high school diploma, just because you ain't never been married before, just because you don't work at this job, just because you don't drive that car, just because you don't da da da, -da. He said, don't none of that matter. He said, because when he puts you in the new position, when he give you that higher height, when he set you above all nations, when he thrusts you forward to the position where he wants you to be, he said, you belong there. So soar. Don't let nothing pull you down. Don't let nothing talk you out of being up, elevated. Don't let nobody and nothing talk you out of your elevation, not even yourself. I know you think that you won't have enough to, to deal with it, but you do. God would have never put you in a position if he didn't think you could handle it. And I told you God would never put you in a place where you're not equipped. I told you when he said what? In Deuteronomy 31 and 8, he said, I will go before you. Which means what? He get everything set up for you before he put you in the position. He goes before you and say, okay, I want to have her doing this right here. I want to have her doing that. These people going to cut the food, but I'll shut that lion's mouth. Okay, they're going to cut the food. I'm going to shut that lion's mouth. I'm going to shut that lion's mouth. And so he's going before you and put everything straight. And then he said, I'm going to be with you when you walk into that position. And then he said, when you get into that position, he's not going to fail you, that you're gonna be successful in what he's called you to do, be, and have. He said he will bless and make success come through the hands that you, that you perform in. In other words, anything you touch, anything you do, he will bless it. That's what he said. And then he said what? He ain't gonna forsake you. When they down you, he ain't gonna say, oh yeah, well they make a point, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm moonwalk out of the room. He ain't gonna do that. He's going to stick right there with you to make sure that what he has called you to be doing half will be what? Honored. That it will indeed be successful. And that's why he says, don't fear and don't be afraid. Take flight. Take flight. Don't let nobody and nothing clip your wings anymore. Take flight. No more being afraid of heights. Y'all get it? Got it good? I hope so. But if you didn't, Rewind this thing and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have the message. Smile, why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Take flight. No longer afraid of what heights. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.